Hey there and welcome to Get Out the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew and today we're talking about how you can make money by doing landscaping. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. If you're a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to Consult the Flying Guy. Today we're talking about how you can make money by doing landscaping. Now, I myself have done landscaping when I was younger and it's very simple to do and it can be quite profitable. Landscaping can be an assortment of different services that you offer. It includes, but is not limited to, mowing lawns, edging grass along driveways and sidewalk, trimming hedges or bushes, planting flowers, trimming trees, or putting things around trees for barriers or borders. There is a number of different things that you can do for landscaping. If you're doing this as an individual, it can be very time consuming to do it alone. And if this is something you're interested in doing, you could potentially turn this into a full-time business and scale up as time goes on and make more of a profit. Now, when I was younger and used to do landscaping with one of my friends and his father, they had their own business and we got paid fairly handsomely by the hour. And we did everything I just mentioned a moment ago. We were even contracted by our city to go out and plant flowers in the median along roads. Not only did we do privately owned properties, doing cutting of grass, doing edging and trimming of bushes and trees and things like that, but we also planted flowers for private homes as well as for the city. We also got contracted to do plowing of businesses during the winter. There is a number of different services that you can offer doing a landscaping business. Myself, when I was younger, when we did landscaping, depending on the contracted job that we were doing, whether it was privately owned or city owned property that we were working on, depending on whether or not we stayed on the same pay scale or not. If we were doing a private property, we got paid a flat hourly rate of $10 an hour. Now, when it came to doing contract work for the city, we made anywhere between $10 and $20 an hour to do the various work that we were contracted to do. And when it came down to the number of people working on these projects varied depending on what it was that was needed, and the amount of time that we had to do it in. For instance, if it's the beginning of spring and you're out planting flowers, you have all spring and summer to do this. No time constraint. However, if you're in the middle of summer and they want you to put flowers out across a span of like 20 miles, it is going to take you considerably longer to go between each of these different medians along that 20 mile stretch or whatever area it is that they want you to work in and get them done before fall sets in and the flowers start dying off. Or maybe it's the end of the summer and going into fall already and they want them in for a specific holiday or community event, something that of that nature, and they're only going to be in the ground for a short period of time before the first frost comes through and wipes out all of those plants. In which case, you're on a time constraint, which means you need more manpower, which means you have to get the job done quick and be able to meet the deadline that the city gives you. So depending on the project, you could make a fair amount of money. If this is something that interests you. I highly recommend checking out my blog and consultblindguy.com slash blog, where I give you more detailed information, tips, tricks, and things to consider. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. If you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to drop them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
who knows maybe that question will be the topic of a future video until the next time stay safe have a great day or evening depending on where you are in the world and we'll see you in the next episode